Sports Network presents Rearview Replay with Roy Gage and Erica Dent. Today we rewind to the historic finish at the Dynaco 400. This one had me as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. With one lap to go, Lightning McQueen has a substantial lead. Ooh I hope this ends well. Now I know we all love Lightning McQueen, Roy, but I see this as a classic example of a racer not taking the advice of his team. I hear you, but when you're out there and you have those fans screaming your name, you feel the intense heat to win at all costs. Checkered flag, here I come. Did you see that? That's what happens when you don't listen to your pit crew. Ah, but look at this. Not at the tire, but at this. We'll call this the before, the young and invincible lightning. Look at the conviction in his eyes. Do you see it? I see a refusal to pit. And here, the after. A racer who realized that he may have cost himself his lifelong dream. Woo! I'm getting emotional. You can't imagine that fear that comes to mind when you feel the shimmy, realize you pushed yourself too far, and that your tire's about to pop. You fool! <laughs> Someone needs anger management. Look at the tension here. I think I know who. Ah, this guy. And who can blame him? At this point, Lightning is working with his fourth pit crew. What's amazing here is he still manages to regain control. The King and Chick are closing in, but the worst is yet to come. Holy hubcaps! Another blown tire. It's just as devastating no matter how many times you see it. I don't like his refusal to pit, but I admire his persistence. He never gives up. With 100 feet remaining in the coveted Piston Cup Championship. Here they come, Erica. I can't believe this. He may lose this thing. You couldn't have drawn this up any better. A never before seen. Three way tie. A photo finish. I didn't see that coming. Ooh, so close to winning, but without tires, he just can't make up the ground. Thanks to Lightning's quick thinking, he was able to inch to the finish line. I have to hand it to him, Roy. A little bit of improvisation saved his race. Hey, no cameras! Get out of here! Coming up on Racing Sports Network.